What's going on guys, it's Eric here from nichegamer.com and in today's video I want to do a quick tutorial on how you can use this website to find a winning product or at least how I would find a winning product. So if you go on over to nichegamer.com uh, what I would do is just kind of look through all the Shopify websites to get an idea for what's selling um, and what I think would do well. So when you click that button it's just going to give you a list of all the Shopify sites ranked by popularity uh, this first page here is just going to show you mainly, you know, famous brands. Uh, they're probably not drop shipping. These are most likely their own products that they're ma manufacturing themselves. So we can kind of skip past most of these early pages. Um, yeah, let's go to like the page. I don't know, like one one hundred fifteen. Uh, so these sites will be less popular, but they're more likely to be drop shipping from AliExpress, which is what we want. We just want to be able to find something from AliExpress that we can use on our own store. Um, I'll give you an idea of how I look for things. So I wanted to be niched down, first of all, and I wanted to be something uh, we can target very easily, um, and I want a good supplier. So uh, this store here looks like they sell workout uh, apparel, uh, workout belts, workout shirts, um, things like that. Uh, this looks like it's straight from AliExpress. Um, it's a French shop, I'm guessing from the descriptions. Um, Something like this could sell very well if you're a cat lover. Uh, people like to dress up their cats, so that could be potentially a good one. Um, so I'll keep that in mind. Games. Games do very well, but you would have copyright issues there. Bras. Apparel. Blah, blah, blah. Rugs. Dogs. Okay, so dogs are interesting because they're a very popular niche. Um, people love dogs and people are, are always buying things from their dogs so they tend to do pretty well. Uh, so let's take a look at this one because it seems like it could be promising. Um, let's see, paw print necklace. They're selling for 16 bucks and I bet it's probably like two bucks on AliExpress. So we'll click this little button here and check it out. And AliExpress is being dumb right now but um, it looks like those are pretty similar. Let's order it by orders. And look at that. It's the exact same, <laughs> exact same necklace right there. Um, yeah, so they're selling it for 16 You can buy it for, what is that, like 3 bucks just about. Um, so next thing I'll do is click on it and see how the supplier is. So the supplier has a 98% positive feedback rating. 1500 orders, uh, pretty good 4.4 out of 5 star rating there. So this looks pretty promising. You know, people clearly want it. Uh, it's a good supplier. Um, the images look pretty solid. Uh, ignoring that one, because you're probably going to sell the dog one. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure when you're looking at AliExpress suppliers that they give you images that would sell well. Uh, like, namely ones that don't have watermarks all over it. Or if they do have watermark, you need to have one that you can like remove. So if they had like their logo up here, you can just you know take a paintbrush and like white it out on whatever program you want to do. Um, but yeah, so this looks pretty solid. So the next thing I'll do is check it on um, the Facebook Audience Insight tool because I want to make sure we can actually target it. <coughs> oh, that's the wrong thing, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Oh, that was right. Whatever. Okay. So. Let's load up the Audience Insight tool, um, and we'll just start very broad. We'll just type in dog, so we'll find uh, some pages of people that, that people like who like dogs. Um, pretty evenly split between men and women. I mean, obviously heavier towards women, but not something too substan substantial. Let's see what page uh, pages they like here. I love my dog. Seems like a good one, so let's type that in here. And we start getting a little more targeted when we, you know, branch away from this the uh, very broad terms. So I love my dog as a page with a 383x in, uh, affinity score, 3.7 million audience, um, which is pretty good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is target people who maybe like jewelry, um, probably actually necklaces because that's exactly what that is. So necklace. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I would go and make my Facebook ad and I would have it flex targeting. So you'd have, I love my dog and 
I love neck or and they love necklaces. So uh, they love both those, and they're probably going to be pretty excited to see this or to, to buy it. Um, now you want to look at demographics. It's primarily women, so I would target my ad towards women. And the age group seems to hover around 25 to 34, so maybe you can target from 21 to, I don't know, 44, somewhere in there. Um, it, you know, if you're targeting way over here, the 65 plus, you're spending money on these people who maybe aren't as interested in the product, so it's not really worth your time. Uh, so yeah, that's how I would set up my Facebook ad. Um, and honestly, that's that in itself will probably net you a few, at least a few hundred dollars if you do it right. Uh, make sure your Facebook ad, uh, the text is set up so that you actually appeal to the customer. Um, I would actually go through and make these into a slideshow, a video format. Um, it's been shown, at least from my experience, that uh, people engage a lot better with videos and photos. Uh, so uh, maybe make this a slideshow with some nice background music, um, and boom, you got yourself a winning product right there. And uh, you just keep going down this list and find a whole bunch of things that people are already selling that do well. Um, uh, wood watches, for example. I'm sure that would do great. Target people who like watches. Uh, target people who maybe like, I don't know, woodworking or nature or something like that. Um, and just go through. I mean, there are, we're on page 115, and there's probably hundreds of pages here with thousands and thousands of products. So just go through. Uh, find what works for you. If you already have a niche, just type your niche here and get some product ideas and just kind of go through the process I showed you. Um, that's exactly what I've done and that's how I built my six-figure store. So good luck. Um, contact us if you have any questions uh, and see you guys in the next video.